forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, sponsored by AC Designs. All right, folks, want to make sure you heard Katie. So if you're coming down for the Iceman on Saturday night, and that is you're heading toward downtown on the Matthews Bridge, you want to find another bridge. Maybe you're headed off to the Prime, Warren, Prime Osborne Convention Center where uh, Heather is, which is just looking straight west on uh, Bay Street, or maybe you're headed down south to uh, Fort Mose where the Preservation Hall Jazz Band is playing. That's a classic as far as I'm concerned, or maybe uh, you're just going to take a stroll in your neighborhood. How about some clues to the sky? Do you see this? The faint hint there, what we call a sun dog, which is kind of like an ice bow. That is, these are ice crystals. The sun's over here, and it's shining through it, kind of like a, uh, the sun does through a uh, rainbow. And it normally happens when we have just enough cirrus clouds to produce that, but if it were too thick, we wouldn't see that. And that's another way of saying, yeah, there's moisture up there, but not enough to show any signs of precipitation anytime soon, I don't think. And then these clouds, these are called stratocumulus clouds. It shows there's moisture at about 5,000 feet. Ice crystals are at 25,000 feet, but there's no vertical development. Notice that they just kind of look like flat pancakes. That's another sign of not expecting any showers or thunderstorms. With all that said, the moisture continues to increase. We've gone from uh, dew points in the 30s on Wednesday to the 40s yesterday, now the 50s, and we will continue to see that increase in the barometer drop, and all that will set the stage for showers and thunderstorms, but not until Monday. So again, if you're going to be out and about this evening, the warming trend has continued. You can see where the sea breeze has pulled in the cooler temperatures, but even their temperatures in the 60s, that's where our high temperatures were yesterday. Uh, notice as we approach 6 o'clock, many of us still in the lower and middle 70s, and it's going to be even warmer this weekend. There's a dew point, moisture increasing all over the place. Notice 61 degrees around St. Augustine. Now that's significant because the dew point is beginning to rise over the sea surface temperature. So what? Well, that means there will be some sea fog developing. So if you have plans to go to the beach this weekend, be aware that maybe right on the beach at times there could be some sea fog. Okay, so what about the main event? What are we talking about here? So tomorrow afternoon, again, we're going to be dry. A few showers around us, but we'll be dry. Here's the main event. Heavy thunderstorms developing out around the Arklatex. Now that's going to continue to head our way, but notice as we lose the color, a sign that it's weakening. So it's going to be running our perimeter Sunday evening. Here's the big question. Will that kind of linger around on Monday and just give us a lot of clouds? And if that happens, then this next event won't be that significant. Or if this weakens enough and you see a lot of sun on Monday, that won't necessarily be a good sign. If we see a lot of sun on Monday, then Monday night, these storms could be pretty significant for us. We'll keep a close watch on that. For tomorrow, a mixed bag of sun and clouds, but even on the coast, temperatures going over 70. Long period swell, that just means the surf isn't big, uh, but it's powerful. The runouts will be powerful. So if you do want to reach the beach and you don't mind 57 degree surf temperature, uh, make sure you have the lifeguards watching you. And of course, with it being a winter weekend, uh, they tend to be confined to less locations, so make sure you check that out as well. But overall, overland, a warming breeze will continue tomorrow. 78 degrees, which means some of us will make it to 80. Most of us will make it to 80 on Super Sunday. And then comes the risk of thunderstorms. Going to say yes, we're going to have some rain spread our way later Monday. There could be some stronger storms. We'll keep you updated. Then cooler as we head toward mid-February. And let's see, mid-February means, wow, within a week, we're just going to be three and a half months away from hurricane season.